Oh, should I flip it that way? Am I upside down? Oh, wait. There. That's good. Oh, wait. That's good. No, you're good. You're okay. upright. You're guys. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Well, what about that? Am I good there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, the way this works, basically, um, they show me certain things, and it's just my job to interpret it, but it's your job to help me connect it. Uh, basically, they'll just show me something, and I'm like, how do we connect to blah, 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 and then that's like validating their presence and then they'll use me to just kind of relay whatever message or say whatever they need to say um and the ultimate thing here is just to know like there is an afterlife and our our loved ones are still around and that is ultimately what it's all about um but i have to say <laughs> there's been a mother-like energy around me for some quite some time is this your mom it's, it's his. my mom yeah okay yeah <laughs> she almost didn't even let me finish talking she's like you need to talk about me <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden i felt father energy all of a sudden did your so who's who's the heavier drinker or the the more of like borderline alcoholic so um is your father passed? Yeah. dad what he's doing to me is he's showing me how different you are in relation to him as far as being the dad and how that you've opened up your arms with emotions and feelings and really allow the kiddos to kind of express themselves differently than what he did with you. That's, that's right, that's right, yeah. That's, that's definitely right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, and he is saying how proud of you he is and how um, he knows how involved you are. Um, oh. Now this is a man who hates hospitals. Right. <laughs> And <laughs> very true yeah, yeah. yes um, so he's kind of also saying um you know Brandon I really didn't put out as much as like the illness like I nobody really truly knew how sick I was um, yeah. we wish we would have known a little bit more because we could have carved out a little more time for him or done a little you know the woulda coulda should haves and like just knowing things differently but i mean he's showing me there was a duration of time that we knew he was sick so was it like six to 12 months or how long was yeah he sick? That, cancer uh liver cancer yeah <laughs> my dad and i we were always like our relationship's always been good uh but we didn't see each other for a period of time he, he just kind of was on a different wagon than i was on and and, and we weren't ever there was no harsh words ever ever ever, ever. there's no regrets um but there was times when i didn't really know what he was doing you know what i mean like we didn't talk every day i guess is what i'm saying and so there was but he would always say stuff like you know i won't be here forever but he said it for years so it almost seemed like he knew that because he drank so much at some point his time would come you know what i mean earlier than someone else's so it's almost like he knew eventually uh because he'd been rough on himself that something would happen i don't know that he he might have known it years before he just never really came out and said it he just would always say stuff like you know, you guys didn't see me more, you, whatever. And we just kind of never made the effort on either side. Um, but there was no ill intent or any kind of. But it did happen quick. It happened yes, real within fast. Six so, months to 12 so he must have been suffering months. from something quickly before. Yeah. Or, you know, we didn't know about it for sure. Yeah. Okay. So then you're connecting to everything then that he's giving me because it's kind of like the, you know, the lack of time. But yeah, I mean, no, there's understanding for sure about like other things that were going on and life was happening. And, you know, but if anyone has any regret of not spending um, the, the amount of time that they wish they would have, he's just acknowledging this and using this opportunity to let go of any of that uh, guilt. Um, was he on hospice? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. He's, he's not much of an emotional man. Um, he's just making me feel kind of numb, uh, just meaning like that's how he, but that's what his coping. I mean, he just emotions are emo like whatever, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. but he is grateful for the beautiful passing that he was able to experience. Um, he yeah. makes me feel like you weren't there. It was weird. I wasn't there. I was talking to his wife um, about, I talked to her before and then she called me and then when it happened, or I called her something, and then she just, I never forget, she blurted out, he just died. Like, just, it was like one of those things, and I was like, wow. And so he was just like, 
I either called a minute or two after, or she called. I don't remember who called who, but it was it was like that. Just it it happened. Yeah, yeah, like that. And it was so that would just validate that. Um, yeah, I wasn't there. I was yeah visiting, but I wasn't yeah. And yeah. it's okay. I mean, he's just like it's all good. Like he's he's was he in the military? But that's where his like um, emotional, you know. It's almost like it goes without being said. <laughs> like, like he's like he's like we're good we're good no problem yeah yeah, yeah. 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 He but I love it I love it so much because he's making me feel like he's so alive by making me feel his exact energy you know what I mean yeah. so it, it, it it's almost like that is a much better validation than any words he can give me right um well see that's good to know because you know there were things in his life that went on that made us kind of wonder exactly where he was at spiritually. Um, you know what sure. I mean? And so, so, so this is validating that he's, he knows there's a God and they're, they're good. Right. So that's a good thing. Yes. Is that kind so, of what this? Yeah. Anyone that can, anyone that I channel is in God's light or in the light. So this is just going to validate his souls at peace as well. Um, that's, but that's huge. I feel like, um, I, I keep seeing like baseball cards. Do you connect to baseball cards? Do still. <laughs> yeah, to this day. <laughs> okay. Um, my kids do also. Play from the floor, yeah. Okay. Was he cremated? Was, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's insane. That's insane. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, so then he invited out and sp sent somewhere you know like not just an urn yeah no no no. they're they're spread out yeah great so he's validating his presence even further with that um acknowledging that his soul is at peace by giving that information to me um you know uh, is he the man in the plaid or is this your grandfather grandpa loved to wear plaid too yeah my my, my mom's grandpa. side he loved to wear plaid all the time yeah. someone showed me a knife do you have his knife I do. Yeah, I do. My grandpa's knife. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. I do. <laughs> okay. So validating they're all together. Okay. Uh -huh. and they're, they're all squished together, actually. Like I feel <laughs> like they're, they're almost like my turn, my turn, my turn, you know, yeah. uh, actually I yeah. think that's your mom. Okay. Let me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, my mom. She's like, she knows, she's so funny. She's like, he knows I'm here, so I'm not going to give you all those validations just yet. I need to talk to my son. <laughs> God. It's so okay. funny. Okay. Only her personality, okay. for sure. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm hearing I met the baby. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So just know that the, before you held, this validates that that baby was held by her before you held the baby. She she knew she she knew what she was doing. She says. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like her. <laughs> yeah, we, we have two never, kids. We have two, yeah, two babies. Yeah. Don't ever doubt. Don't ever <laughs> doubt the future and stop worrying about the things like money. Okay, so um, she says, stop feeling like you're not doing enough for your family. And your kids are really, your kids are looking up to someone who has a really uh, strong head on their shoulders. You're a problem solver. You get stuff done when you need to. And you spend the right time with them. Stop with the parent guilt of working too much. That's amazing. That's right on. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's amazing. That's right on. Wow. She shows me a hair cap. So did she lose her hair? Yeah. And she was like super excited to find wigs. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the blue ribbon, or I'm not the blue ribbon, the pink one. So then that's ovarian cancer. But does she fight for life? Yeah, so she had ovarian cancer. Um, remission. One oh my time. gosh! Wait, stop! Wait. Okay. wait, she's giving this to me. Okay. So hold on. This will only okay. prove the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay. 
she likes to talk too she says she's yeah, like yeah. you like to talk just like me um, <laughs> but she also never met a stranger like you no that's right yeah okay. my brother yeah. she's being funny now she goes Brandon have you met or have you met this person or have, have you come over here have you met Brandon that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> She's all about conversing and really good energy. And she was the light of life. And she also, she was also more sick than she put out. She says, um, she never wanted to inconvenience anybody. She never wanted anyone to put their life on hold for her health. She was very stubborn though, too. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Um, she kept saying, don't, don't come by and see me. I look terrible. I don't give a damn how you look. I'm coming over. Yeah. So her <laughs> yeah. hair was flat. Yeah. Yes. When she passed. Yeah. Yes. Because um, she's like, tell them my hair is just beautiful again. No doubt. <laughs> now, is this you? Because she's making me feel like you were there and then maybe you stepped out as she took her last breath. Yeah. So I was I was there <clears throat> every day after work and uh, it happened overnight. And so the next day I, I came in and I think her yeah, her yeah. friend was with her, uh, her friend, Rena, who was childhood friend, best friend um, and like an aunt to us still. She was there. I think she was there in the room. Anyway, yes. we they, they called me and I left work and that, that's, yeah, it was overnight. I think it was three in the morning. It was actually, I won't tell you this part. We'll go on. I'll, I'll tell you later. Uh -huh. What day it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like somebody's birthday? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but who did you guys name your baby after? Um, so our little girl, Elizabeth, Isabella Opal, Opal is his grandmother. That's the grandma. That's the one that I've yes. The son okay. is after my dad, William. So I'm the fourth. He's the fifth. So <laughs> it was grandma Opal. Yeah. Grandma Opal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cause they're talking about the names and how they oh. you know, were named after them. So I, but they're together. So, I mean, they're, it's like so many people talking at once. Uh, so I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Some of, somebody's baby's name was after them so yeah, okay. yes after my grandma yeah. Yeah. so just validating that they know that and they're aware oh. and they like know all these things no um that's amazing so then they show me residential change about a year ago did. yeah yes. to our to our forever home yes so this is the keeper. okay yeah so just know that they uh they know <laughs> that's awesome that's amazing um that's amazing my gosh so this is like the third time that they showed me like a necklace though and it's not the rosary it's a different kind of necklace my mom my mom yeah. perfect okay yeah. <laughs> wow that's she, amazing she kept, i'll tell you what happened several times because that was the third time she said talk about the damn necklace <laughs> <laughs> because I kept ignoring her because I'm like, but it's your son. Surely he doesn't have a necklace. You know, that's just me being sexy. <laughs> that's so funny. That's right. <laughs> she hadn't changed a bit. No, yeah, no. same. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she's, they're beautiful. The mom and grandma, do they look yeah. similar? Yes. Very similar. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Almost like, did they share the same vocal energy too? They yes. they were very similar um, from everything from, you know, uh, thickness of hair to like kind of the soft spoken nature. My mom is a little more of a bulldog, but my grandma, I didn't meet her till she was older, obviously. So she was probably that same bulldog early in life. I don't know. Because, you know, my grandmas are older. So I didn't meet my grandma when yeah. she was 30. So I didn't really know her. But yeah. Yeah. They, uh, and they also present themselves uh, during their prime. So <laughs> yeah. your grandmother has aged down, and your and then your <laughs> mom so okay. that, Yeah, that's okay. why y'all really? like, look like twins. Wow. Yeah, yeah they're very similar in features. <sighs> um, and then they show me a religious article, like a Bible. Do you have their Bible? I do. Yeah, I do. I was thinking to my cousin, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose it, so I kept it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. and then they showed me an expired license so we just got a new license the other day but who collected the hats or who had a lot of hats so my grandpa bill had a bunch of hats the bucket cool. hats that's why we're bucket hats all the time so did he have the melanoma yep okay yep, yep. okay yep that's a, it's amazing yeah he did yeah he was super light-skinned like me yeah do you remember like a really ugly floral uh couch growing up from your grandma or somebody 
<laughs> we've had so many it seems like yeah that's probably right for my grandma that's probably right yeah 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 i hope it's not up there with her <laughs> i hope you left it here i'll take it up there i don't want it up there <laughs> oh my gosh have their china or dishes because they keep talking about that too do we have dishes for her yes yep we sure yeah. do okay so yeah. this is just validating that they're so appreciative for all the things that you've kept on that are non-monetary that meant the world to them and to you. So they Amazing. know about these things. And I'm, I mean, they're saying like, I mean, they sold some of this stuff. Like it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> But so they can watch everything, it seems like. They know exactly what's going on. This is their way of validating that they know of all of it and they don't leave your side. It's not like, you know, oh, but whose celebration just had, was had like a birth, a birthday? Did you do like a big party for something? We're, like we're thinking about it. There's a lot. So because of COVID, we didn't celebrate our our, our birth, their kids' birthdays for, for like two years. <laughs> we're, we're thinking Birth-taking, about one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 For both That's of them awesome. at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. So they've heard the conversation. They know your thoughts. Okay. And I say you do it. <laughs> do it. So this is coming up then, like a, a dual party. Yes. Yes. So they're pretty pumped about it, huh? Yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> That's cool. Like, I mean, when you guys embrace life, they embrace life with you. Oh. But then they showed me, like, do you connect to a Ruby or the name Ruby? The gym? Ruby. Like the stone? Like the- the stone in the gym, Ruby. Oh, isn't that your mom's? I think it might be. Is her in a cross? Something on something you have that's red, like a red gym or something. Well, I think Adam has a cross from hers that might it's be red. red. I think it is. Okay. I think it is a Ruby. Yeah, I think Adam has that. Yeah, sure does. Yeah. And that's your brother? So brother Adam, yeah. Okay. So she's just validating that she's around him too. Oh. And then says, and the kids, she's just coming through with uh, specifically acknowledging the sensitive son. Um, and just saying, you know, like he's gonna be just fine. It's actually wonderful that we finally have a more sensitive boy in the family. That's awesome. <laughs> That's, <great. laughs> That's funny. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our our little boy's pretty sensitive. Yeah, yeah Karsten. Yeah. That's amazing. And then I just keep seeing football. Yeah, I mean football's a line through our lives. Yeah, we were huge OU fans and we went to games oh. together. My dad. My mom too, all of us. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, yeah. sure. Perfect. Oh, dear. So yeah. you guys would all do like the like the same shirts or like yeah, yeah. Guys, and watch the OE stuff and oh yeah, all the time. And my little boy said, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, for sure. Just for know sure. like whenever you're watching football, their souls are with you for that. Oh. That's amazing. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. Um, I feel like we stopped doing something after someone died because it was too hard. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to let that marinate. And then, um, she shows me journals or something that. When you talk about the stop thing, we used to do this thing, uh, this one day at a time thing, and like a little journal that we'd keep, you know, like, let, like what happened that day or whatever. So you, a couple of years, you can look back at it, write it down for the kids. We just, we stopped doing it because we just got so busy and blah, blah, blah. So, um, okay. he's and, and he it. stresses out about it. I, I've been thinking about it for like a year and a half. I'm like, I need to catch it up. It's different time. So I need to do it. He's so yes, okay. we do journal. Yeah. 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 So great. Then there wasn't a coincidence that she gave me the stop doing something, you know, and then journal. So the writing, but, so that's yeah. that, cool that you knew exactly what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah. I, back in my mind, I was thinking about it. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. So just know then that that's also a current validation that she's been with you and she even knows about that. Because mm-hmm. I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been bothering me. <laughs> How do you connect to the red cardinal? <laughs> but we saw a cardinal this morning and I said, I told Billy on our way over here. Yeah. I said, if he talks about the red cardinal, we know it's her for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and, she, yeah. and she always talked about what cardinals meant and like she, you know, <clears throat> she just did it like she enjoyed beautiful things like r- rainbows and things outside birds and just nature just, and things she like just that. Yeah. had a wonderful life for everything yeah so yes red cardinals yes yeah. we see them all the time and did she have the garden or the flowers so there's she just showed oh, me her, oh, her rose bush she had a rose bush she loved and I, and I didn't i didn't get it whenever we sold the house we when my grandpa moved on we we ended up buying everybody to get the house and we rebuilt it and we basically we, we sorry we, we restored it and sold it 
Um, and then that funded our new house that we live in now purchase. But there's a big rose bush. That's the house she passed on in. And I, I didn't take any of it. I, I probably should. But that's the rose bush you're talking about. The yeah, the rose. Yeah, yeah no, hers. I mean, she's just validating that this is her. I mean, it's it's all good. She, you know, the way we handle the tangible items in our life is just to allow us to grieve or to process the loss of our loved ones. But to them, yes, it matters, but it doesn't. So however you choose is totally up to you. But okay. with, did someone have a car that we sold or do we hold on to for a while and we sold it or something? Yeah, I've had, I'm a big car guy. So I used to race Supers a lot and oh. I sold it and yeah, yeah, yeah. She, the red car. So you know she what I'm talking red. about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she loved the red yes. Super, yeah. <laughs> Loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she loved it. Um, um, So it's in, the entire energy just shifted. So the, what feels like someone that isn't family, who possibly was someone who shared more of a bond of a friendship, um, do you know someone that died suddenly and unexpectedly who was not family? Um, Your friend over. My friend Kevin okay. from real estate. Was this suicide? It was a suicide. Okay. Um, were there was there a candlelight vert like thing? Yes. Okay. This is him. Um, so he's he's in heaven. He's with God. He is with the light. He is with <laughs> all things good. Because he's like, dude, why wouldn't they put us in hell for uh, <laughs> for mental illness? <laughs> right. like, yeah. I couldn't get my fucking life together. I mean, yep. come on. Yep. Like, I just yep. couldn't take it. I couldn't handle the 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 financial responsibility of life. I couldn't handle like all of the pressure of the world. And um, and then he goes to say, he's like, had I known that all, like, had I known that my departure would have caused so much misery. I'm not a selfish person. So I, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I asked him to come through today. <laughs> I did. You were talking to someone. Yeah, that's him earlier. Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, so, uh, so either he, does he have kids? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, did he have three or how do you yes. connect? With okay. Yes, he had three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> crazy. Sorry. It's crazy. No, that's, that's amazing. Uh, his wife is alive still? Yes. Okay. Because he's saying if, it, if, if there's any possibility of letting her know that I came through to know that my soul is at peace because that is something she wonders every day if okay. I'm in the right light or if I'm in the right space. Also very important that he's, she's, he's saying, I'm sorry to her. I'm so sorry. Um, he just felt, he feels like he can never do enough is what he's making me feel. Like he never felt adequate enough to be who he was. Um, but now he says, I understand now. I understand her. I, under, I know what she was trying to say. Did it, did it happen with a gun? Yes. Okay. Uh, so just that's his way of validating his apology, because to me, I do not like throwing out apologies. So I want to make sure that whenever they do come across with the apologetic energy that they validate even further. Um, man, he's showing me like a note or something. Did he write a note? There was a note left behind. Yes. Uh, and then it's interesting because he's playing music for me. So do you know if he if he was playing music or if you if there was I don't know that. Okay. No. I mean it's very like I feel like I'm in the place of where it happened and took place and it's like I can almost hear anyway that that's okay. That's irrelevant. Okay. Um so anyway um Do you know anything about the kids? Like do you know if the oldest one is in college or like about to graduate? Yeah, she's in college. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. And yes, I can validate that. 
just talk, you know, he's just bragging and talking about the kids and how they've done this and they've done that. And just, you know, it's definitely for his wife. So this is why I record these. So you can send this little tidbit if you want it to her, right? Okay, thank um, you. And, and let her know my info. I feel like he's like all about it. Like, he's just like, I want to talk to her. <laughs> oh, we, we, may, we may get her in touch with you. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yes, he's, he's very good. He's good. Like he, he honestly makes me feel like he finally feels understood. Okay. Um, gosh, he just won't step to the side. He talks about his, uh, and I don't know if this is behind closed doors because I don't know. Um, anger, uh, not that like, was he smiley happy, but then he talks about like behind closed doors. Do you know if he had some issues with the way he would respond to certain situations? Yeah, I, yes, yes, I can, okay. yes, I know okay. what that means. Okay. And then um, do you, okay, where does, um, so what about, is there a grandmother though for you that's passed? My grandma and my mom have, yeah. And okay. I was super close to both, yeah, yeah. That's, that's amazing, yep. Mm. <laughs> and the fun's just started, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, Melissa, do you connect to a rosary? I have my grandma's, she, my grandma's still alive, but she has had this old rosary that she gave to me a long time ago. And I don't right. know who it's come from. She just gave it to me as a gift. So I don't know if it was passed down to her from um, a family member or if that's something that's precious to her that she gave to me. Okay. Now is, is your mom also alive? Mm -hmm. um, so, cause I was asking them, I'm like, why, who's showing me? The rosary and then you mentioned mom and then I felt grandfather energy so this is her dad yes my mom's father has passed yes yes that's my yeah. my mom's uh father and they were very close now is he also catholic yes then that's why he's showing me the rosary I see okay, great okay, okay. <laughs> I just have to <laughs> I just have to make sense of what's going on in my head. right kind of Tough. Yes. <laughs> but yes. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. Cat cremated? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. That's hilarious. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's so yep. funny. Ace. Um, he was our beloved cat for a very long time. So he's around too, huh? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, so. <laughs> You had the cat before the babies. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Because the cat's saying, "I'm still around the babies. I'm still around the kid." Did the well? Did the cat pass before you had the babies? Nope. No. He met the babies. Yeah. I'm yeah, still went. around the babies. Oh. That's why. He, that's why he's saying, "I'm still around the babies." That's um, but Seriously. you. This was like your first child. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Ace is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were. We were tight. Oh yeah. Um. So tight. <laughs> How do you connect to the number 10? Um, so this could be October. Or I don't remember. I don't remember. My what birthday's in October. Maybe I got him in October sometime, maybe? Or Your birthday's know. in October? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. hilarious. He showed me, was mostly your cat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's my boy, man. Yes. Um, but was he ill or like? Because he says, I understand the decisions that were made around my departure. Yeah. 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 We had to put him down and it was very he had hard liver, to liver stuff. And we had to, yeah. Yeah. But we try to hold on as much as possible. Cheers. Cheers. He was always around us. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. your feet, your legs. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He was constantly. He slept on my bed like every day, except for the day he was sick. That's how we knew he was really sick. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. But he was, was constantly. Was he under something? something? Or in the closet or what's? Um, he, he loved was, to, he loved to be in the closet. Yeah, and he he loved to go in there, but he would sleep at the foot of our bed. Yeah, but always oh. at your feet. Always at okay. your feet. Yeah. Okay. Um, he met both the babies, correct? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they're buddies. Okay. And because he shows me them both as newborns, so he's kind of giving me this memory. Aww. Uh, 
He is saying thank you for the love. Any cat would have been fortunate to have you as their Oh, <laughs> their <sweet>. owner. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Sure. Yeah, he spoiled him so a lot. so funny, like, talking on behalf of a cat. I know, I know. I know. I'm like, he's telling you what? <laughs> It's, and it's it's one of those things where it's just emotion. It's like a feeling, emotion, expression. It's like, that's how, I mean, even then that's how, it's just how it works. Um, he's, uh, were there like treats or wet food or what's? <laughs> yes, okay. he loved them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yes. Oh, yeah. He constantly spoiled him with, with yeah. those, yes. He's that, yeah. <laughs> would you play with him with like the laser? Like, would he chase something? Yes. Yeah, we, we do that so all the time. much. Oh yeah, all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's around you guys. But do you have a dog now? Yes, we do. We do. Okay. We didn't have her. Yeah, we had her yeah. with Ace. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And then we have our other cat, Nico, and they were the best. They were buds. Nico yeah. and Ace were buds. Yep. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have Zoe as the, our dog. So he's this cat that's passed over is so annoyed at your dog because his dog just like barks <laughs> at him. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. But even now with his energy your dog is receptive to picking up on that cat's energy and so <laughs> if you That's notice funny. that dog barks at random things yes yeah she does she it does. at night yeah especially she does that's so funny oh <laughs> uh... but it's also mom your mom's popping it back in and saying that dog barks at me too <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that yeah <laughs> that's awesome Man, that was sweet. Oh, that's I amazing. love that. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> this is incredible, Brandon. Mm -hmm. and me. It's yeah. incredible. It's it's man. It's it's so much better than need. It's it's incredible. It really is. Yeah. Like just, <laughs> it's amazing. So man. much peace. Thank you. Oh my it, gosh. It's, well, literally, thank you guys because I feel so much better even after every reading because I feel like you know people ask, "Are you so tired afterwards?" It's not. No, it's like I feel better. I feel like I can the pressure is off of my chest because that's how it feels like when they're around me and on me and so much of my life. <laughs> and, look at, and look at all the people. You're, you're like, go like, away. <laughs> you're like, you're like Google, man. You're like connecting people to answers. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, that's great. So it's, like, imagine all the peace you bring to people. What a beautiful gift you, you know? have. It's incredible. Yes. Well, thank you. Well, I'm, ex I'm so honored and privileged to share it with you guys. And thank you for being receptive to it because I know the importance of healing and processing and, and going through the grieving process. But more importantly, I think it's awesome to really feel like they're still very much alive. Yeah, uh, we agree. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank awesome. you so much.